because I have something in my pocket for him. Here you go. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Bianca, this is Charlie. <laughs> and I usually make DIY videos, mostly fashion related. And today I'm filming my second DIY dress out of a men's shirt video. So I've already made a dress out of a men's flannel shirt. I will insert a picture right here. If you like the dress, you can go watch the video. I will link it here on the screen and in the description down below. I hope you enjoyed the video, so let's get started. So this is the shirt that I'm using for this project. It's obviously a men's shirt that I got from a thrift store for about 2 euros. The first thing you'll need is an elastic band that you'll want to place around your waist. Mark where it feels like it's a comfortable fit, add about 2-3 to three centimeters and cut it. Then lay your shirt on a flat surface and make sure all of the buttons are closed. Next you'll need to figure out how long you want your skirt to be and draw a line straight across. I made mine about 40 cm long and then decided to also make a paper bag waist so it turned out being a bit too short. So make sure you add a few more centimeters here, especially if you are doing the paper bag waist that I'm going to show you in a minute. Now you'll need to create a tunnel for the elastic to go through and because I wanted to create a paper bag waist, I made the tunnel a bit lower on the skirt. To create a tunnel, fold the fabric inwards about 5 cm or even more if you want your paper bag waist to be taller. I then decided it was easier to fold the fabric on the wrong side of the skirt, so I just turned it inside out. After you folded the fabric once, fold it once again about half a centimeter inwards just to tuck the edges in so that the fabric doesn't fray. I always find that using an iron when making a hemlight is so helpful just to keep everything nice and neatly folded. I've then used some pins to keep everything in place. Then you can go ahead and sew all the way around but don't forget to leave a small opening so you can insert the elastic. Then go ahead and mark the width of your elastic band and sew it all the way around once again but this time there's obviously no need to leave an opening for the elastic. And be careful not to sew through any of the buttons of your shirt. Now it's time to insert the elastic and pull it all the way through and I've used the trick with the safety pin for this part. Line up the marks on your elastic band and sew it using a zigzag stitch. Then place the elastic on the inside of your tunnel and close the gap using a straight stitch. For the next part you'll need to try your skirt on and measure how long you'll need your straps to be. I've decided I want my straps to cross over at the back to create an X, so that's how I held my measuring tape while measuring the length for my straps. I've used the fabric from the sleeves and from the back of the shirt to create my straps, so you'll first need to cut off the sleeves and open them up by cutting along the seam. So I've managed to cut out 8 strips of fabric of about 4 cm wide that I've sewn together at one end to create 4 longer pieces. 
I've then paired those pieces and placed them right sides facing down, sew them all the way around and turn them inside out. And those are my two straps for the skirt. Fold the edges of your straps inwards just to make sure the fabric doesn't fray and attach them to your skirt wherever they feel most comfortable. Pin them in place and sew them using a straight stitch. So this is the finished result, I think it would also look great with an even higher paper bag waist. You can pair this with a white roll neck jumper, I think it looks great, and with a belt just to cinch in the waist even more. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial, don't forget to check out the first video that I made in this series to learn how to make a pinafore style dress out of a men's shirt. Subscribe if you want to see more DIYs like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!